Hey guys, it's Contract Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. This is episode 6 of the True Stalker playthrough. Last one we left off, we got screwed over by the bandits with the artifact trade. And we're about to go help some other group of bandits go into a lab. And it's going to be possibly full of poltergeists, so it's going to be a horror-themed episode. It's going to be interesting. We also have this guy that's a prisoner of the bandits. His name's Mute. And we're gonna figure out how to break him out of here. We also found this P90 in the last episode. Yeah, fun times in the zone. So some people have been complaining about the Alof in this mod. And yeah, it, it feels a little less empty, but it feels more realistic. Not getting jumped every five seconds. This mod is brutal, honestly. Get one shot a lot of the time. Alright, so these are the other group of bandits. They did say that the uh, bandits and garbage were a bunch of gangbangers, so I thought that was pretty hilarious. It says, welcome, what do you need? Hey, it's me again, still got work to offer me. Of course I do. We've got plans for this place, so there's lots to be done. Hey, aren't you supposed to be at the garbage? Put short, you were right about Mongol, so I wouldn't mind some work. Yeah, he can go shove a grenade up his ass. <laughs> Here's a little secret. We want to get rid of him because we're real fed up. But it needs to be done peacefully. Mongo's got a lot of supporters. Say something out of place and they'll pounce on you faster than a pack of snorks. But that's just thinking aloud. We should get down to business. That's cool. So we got kind of like an internal um, struggle for the bandit faction in Dark Valley. Really cool. To make this clear, I'm not going to do hits or cross free stalkers. That's not what I'm suggesting. We'll do it ourselves if we have to. There's other work for you too. Get in on our business. Perhaps you won't be raking in cash, but you won't be strapped for it either. An interesting offer, but what am I signing up for? First, we need to solve our little problem and check whether these muties have a lair underground. I'll send two of my boys with you as backup. Here's the key to the entrance. Just assess the situation. And if you see anything that looks like a mutant, scram out of there. I don't want more casualties. While you do that, we'll finish our work here on the surface. Alright, if it's just a scouting trip, I'm in. See, nothing goes according to plan. So... This might sound like a uh, scouting trip, but it really isn't. Figure out if I can. Go ahead and use a P90. All right, here goes nothing. You know, I haven't been in this lab in a hot minute. Even in Anomaly, Gamma, EFP. Because none of the, like, quests make you really have to go there. But I'm going to have to go there pretty soon in my EFP playthrough. This, this is we're here. Everyone ready? Ready, just don't do anything stupid because this place has got to be crawling with mutants. We'll have a look. Look around and head outside. I'm not planning on staying for a vacation. Let's go then. Goddamn, just push me in.
We got military. Said scream out of there. Yeah, I knew we'd be fighting them. Hey, what a mess. I'd say we mocked him up pretty good. Let's move on. Buddy's first comrade. What are you talking about? What part do you don't get? You go down there and check every single inch. Come back and let us know what you find. Oh, so that's how it's going to be. What if I tell your boss you stayed on top level and dumped me? I'm gonna tell the boss, huh? What if we find a fruit punch? Hold it to your face for a minute or two. Now, if you don't fancy looking like fresh pork roast, I'd suggest you go ahead. Capiche, we'll sit tight here, you bastards. I hope you clean the factory and this is how you repay me. Just who in the hell did you help over there? We know you were on your ass twirling your thumbs while our boys were dropping like flies. But don't be coming at me like some knight in shining armor. Fine, have it your way. See? I knew this was gonna happen. Always happens. It's been a hot minute since I've been to this lab. I don't think this is the right way at all. Something's about to scare the shit out of me. Alright, let's just, uh, heal while we do this. Okay. Just gotta jump over it. About to be fucked up. Where's the controller? I know it's gonna happen. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Quick saving like a motherfucker. <laughs> Not like we're playing Gamma where we gotta play hard survivalist, campfire mode, agony mode, whatever. All the modes. Not like we got that going on. We can actually just quick save. Not gonna save scum per se, but you know. We're not restrained. This is uh Okay, this is poltergeist activity. walk I 
is this? Oh fuck, oh. It's a blood sucker. Got him. I think this was gonna come in handy. Let's see if I can't get Didn't he say that there was good artifacts? Yes, he did. He said there was good artifacts in the underground. Gotta pay attention to dialogue. How do we get it, though? Nice and slow. This isn't creepy, I don't know what is. Oh! It's a fucking burr. Oh shit! They dead? No. <laughs> Fucking bitch. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Oh, my gun. I forgot about that. Nay, Tom. Fuck you. Wait, it didn't detonate. Is he throwing my grenades at me? Oh shit, he is! Gotcha. Dude, I saw a grenade beside my face, dude. <laughs> there you go. Oh shit. Must be something up here. Using my 90s first person shooter logic. Through these little secret areas. Okay.
There's nothing up here. I guess there's not. Not down here. Oh shit, it's over here. Motherfucker, I went and fought that burr for no reason, I guess. Nice, nah, so we got an AK-101. Alright, we got the code. Got to open the door now. Uh, my flashlight's about to die. What does that thing say? One, two, four, three. Shit, I knew that. This is the same code. This is the same code that it always is. One, five, two, four. I just thought maybe it was different in this uh, mod, you know what I mean? Here we go. And my flashlight died. That's fun. This is like some fucking reanimator shit. You guys ever seen that movie? Oh, hell. Here's a cutscene. jump scare As I don't move, he can't kill me. This is how a veteran stalker does it. I've played the games. Other people might be like, holy shit, how do you beat this guy? Just stand still. Easy peasy. They're like the easiest mutants to kill. Super easy. There's some other tricks too, like different mutants, you can do things like 
The Bloodsuckers, you can actually run after them as they're fleeing, and you can just knife them to death. And then, um, controllers, you just, you know, get behind cover and peek out and shoot, peek out and shoot. Um, same thing with burrs, like I did. I, I kind of had like a, uh, brain freeze moment when he, like, took my gun away from me. I kind of thought, like, it was like one of those, uh, scripted cutscenes where... It takes control of your character. That's why I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, uh, no. What happens when you go into something blonde? Okay. Should be able to just go... Go up top. One bad thing is I gotta go past this, these chemicals now. They're gonna end up burning the shit out of me. Let's try to take some uh, billing. Getting a healing buff is always a uh, good thing. I can know. like an enemy. I don't know. Freedom should be on our side though because we're a loner. And why is it in red? Actually talk to them? Let's see. Nope. I lost my opportunity there. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think freedom would be an enemy, but whatever. Hey. This is Hey Alex, I heard you're not far from Dark Valley right now. I've got a special task for you. Find a map holding the position of a supply cache in our former base. It's likely located in a stash in... X18, use the extra entrance. You know which one. The main entrance is held by bandits. You're better off staying under the radar. I know I'm asking you a lot that I'm sending you into this alone, but that equipment will do us a lot of good. All you have to do is find it. Good luck. Huh. That's what they get for fucking... Alright, let's talk to them. There you are. I was worried sick about you guys. What did you find? Came across a mutant similar to the other one. We dealt with it. Just one, hey, where are my boys? I ran into a freedomer. No idea how he ended up there, but he fired on, on us at sight. Still, he found a way in. Guy was armed to the teeth. He was looking for a map of the stashes. It seems that wealthy stalker of yours was doing the same thing. I found his body. Now I see why he went to the underground so often. What map? Take a look for yourself. I found it on the stalker. Got the location of some freedom stash that was left while they were still in the dark valley. Strange, I haven't heard anything about it. Right under our base. I doubt even Mongol knows about it. What about my boys? Did they make it? We split up. By the time I came back, the freedom guy was searching their bodies. If you're interested, my offer still stands. You want to join up with our crew. I would say yes. I don't know why he's saying I'll refuse. I love playing as the bandits, so if the bandits were like, yeah, you want to join the bandit faction? Fuck yeah, let's do it. He says, I'll have to refuse. Don't take this as an insult, but I'd rather not be a part of a bandit roster. 
that's cool. I'm not forcing you. I'm just suggesting we continue cooperating. Honest pay for honest work. I'm staying in the Dark Valley for a couple of days, so I could use the extra work I'm in. Sweet. Right now, we need to know as much as possible about the secret lab entrance the Freedom Guy found. If we don't have it sealed and someone else finds out about it, our business is going down the drain. Any thoughts? I have one. Some stalkers settled on the farm. They've been here longer than us, and so they know the area better. Maybe they know some kind of lead. You're a guy with a pretty good reputation on you. Best you go talk to them. All right, I'll drive by. So this might be like a future um, base area for me. I can go ahead and dump my gear. Which is really cool in this mod is that it's like a global stash. So you don't have to keep like moving your gear from stash to stash. It just stays in one global stash. Kind of like Diablo 1 and 2. <laughs> it's that typical uh, loner dialogue where he says, What's up, bro? <laughs> like from the original games. They want a cool gun. I cracked open someone's stash at Yantar and found this Gauss rifle. Practically new. I'm giving it away for only 1,500 rubles. Don't have any rounds for it, but I need the recast real bad. Seems shady to me. I'll have to decline the offer, but I do have a few questions for you. I'll answer any questions as long as you buy the gun. Give it up. What are you trying to sell me? Nah, pal. You give up your money. Pay up and we'll talk. Uh, I do have some money. Fuck it. Now we're talking. What did you want? I'm looking for info on a secret entrance to Lab X18. I know there's one somewhere. Why do you want to know that? Okay, he's, a, he's fucking shady as shit. The bandits are robbing me blind. I want to find another way around so I can have a chance at some loot. There's nothing there but trash. What exactly did you plan on finding? I'm looking for old tech. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah, that makes sense, but I don't know any of such entrance. First time I've heard of it. You're a real fraud, you know that? Paid you for jack shit, you'll get far like that. Don't get so worked up, pal. Ask Clumsy by the fire over there. I have more to tell you. He's he's basically a bandit. Fucking hell. I knew I wouldn't get a Gauss rubble for 1,500. But no, I've got 26,000 rubles, so it's not like a big deal. I basically paid for intel at that point. I don't want to help this guy. <laughs> Okay, now I guess we got somebody that wants to help. Or another guy that's acting like a fucking bandit. He says, uh, hey there, need something. That's unusual if not a stupid question. We're a group of stalkers. We live here doing the usual things, collecting artifacts and making a living. I see who exactly is that harpoon guy. Well, he's been with us since the beginning. Decent guy, just a bit secretive. He's kind of our engineer. So the secrecy led him to leave separately from me. Not really. It's funny, the guy's standing right behind me. <laughs> Not really. He's concluded that we distract him, which is why he's the only true loner out of us. And he's always been with you. No, there was this one faction long ago. Oh, I forgot the name. They were doing research. When it split up, he happened upon us. Pretty much all we know about him. I see, I guess I'll go. I think I'm going to get some, I'm gonna ditch my stuff and my stash, which is like I said, a global stash. And then I'm gonna sleep. So I'm not running around in the dark because I don't even have a flashlight. Let's go ahead and sleep because this guy's probably gonna 
drag us into a quest that I can't um, get out of. Alright, let's start with this guy. Are you clumsy? I was told you could. Появился, значит, в зоне черный сталкер. К лагерю ночью поварялся приходить, и там сует руку в палатку и говорит. Водички, побей. А если не дашь клевнуть из фляжки или наружу полезешь, пришибет. А раз мужик один решил пошутить. Вылез тихо из палатки, надел кожаную перчатку и полез к соседям в палатку. Полез, значит, и попрошайничает жалостно. Водички, водички попить. А тут из палатки навстречу ему высокий его чоп, и такой щиплый голосок отзывается тихонько. А тебе моя водичка зачем нужна? that noise it is damn things those damn things. Pain in the ass. Oh shit. <laughs> Zombie sounds stupid as hell. I'm blowing these idiots up. Those things will mess you up too. I've had I've had a couple instances where they swarmed me and almost killed me. God damn, can't kill this stupid shit. That reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance, trying to kill a damn rabbit with an arrow. Can't kill this piece of shit. About time. Are invincible, invisible. Shit. Oh, I see the artifact. Oh, there's a catch to this. Something's gonna go down. I already know it. Can't be that easy. 
cannot be this easy. Oh. The fuck? This is interesting. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, I knew there was going to be a catch to this. Can't catch it. This reminded me of fear now where there's like those um phantoms or whatever. And catch it. Maybe if I shoot it. Might end up leading me to that entrance. What was that? That's a controller. That's a controller, bro. The fuck is he? I'm getting trapped. Gotta get behind something. Gotcha. Shit, man. Fucking gotta get my heels up. Get my heels up. 
He's fucking... God damn. Okay, I gotta blow him up. He's killing me, dude. Holy fuck. The fucking super juiced control. Oh, let's hit him with a grenade first. God damn it. Fuck off. Oh, he's stuck. Yeah. Oh, hell, this is bad. Guys, fucking juiced. <laughs> what? Get over the hill, get over the hill. Ah. Dude, this is fucking tough. Trying to reload, god damn it. I don't think I brought enough ammo to this one. Gotta get behind something else. Oh. The fuck? Oh shit. What the fuck?
So if this works. Fucking hell, this guy's fucking on steroids, bro. Finally. Say we uh, earned that one. Shit. Run past them all. Sound like a pig. It took you so long, got the artifact. Here it is. Haven't seen anything this weird before. Or did you stay in your pants or something? I tried grabbing the artifact, which you guys already know that. Alright. Just gave the uh, coordinates. The secret entrance. Okay, so it's right behind. Hmm. That's why I held on to the shotgun. Good at killing mutants. I'm a shotgun guy, unless I've got an AP5 with hollow points like I did in Gamma. Other than that, I'm a shotgun guy, usually. I like my shotguns and AKs. I just haven't found a 7.62 AK yet. The second we find a 7.62 AK is when I switch to that. Especially if I can put this uh, EOTech on the AK.
Okay. Over here. All right, so he said we did some taking on the map you found on the Freedom Stash. Come up with a plan on how to clean it out quietly. What do you mean clean it out? What about Mongol? Oh, you tell your leader there are supplies under the base that you get them afterwards. Well, he's separate. He's working separately from Mongol. I don't know why my guy's saying that. See, so, yeah, and he just said we split with him. We're running our own gang now. It's like my protagonist forgets that he already said all this. It's a bit of a plot hole there, I guess. My protagonist is dumb and forgot stuff, I guess. <laughs> he acts like a little... Well, he is a rookie, so... He says stupid shit. The protagonist acts. He says stupid shit. <laughs> Why me? Why? It's like, just fucking do it, you little bitch. <laughs> so what's your plan then? Okay, listen up. We know this one scientist who's willing to sell some dope. We use it to drug the whole camp, and while they're out, like a light, clean out the stash. How's it sound to you? Genius plan, ain't it? It's doubtful. How do you plan on carrying all that out? Simple. I spent a long time in that base, so I know, like, the back of my hand. You can spread it out in the field kitchen. They'll go get the chow, then go to sleep. Whoever refuses dinner gets a pistol whip to the face. Simple as that. I'm going to prepare the boys and brief them on everything. In the meantime, you go to the scientist. Just so happens he's on official business in the valley. Here's your money. Buy the drugs with it. After that, go inside the base. Once you're there, be careful. You know, all the stuff he already said. All right. Okay. I gotta go meet an ecologist. <laughs>